Hey, tonight's video, Gold Docks Sandalwood. It's a hard soap. Um, Docks is German for badger, from what I understand. And so the brand is actually Golden Badger or something like that. Uh, this is their sandalwood scent. It's uh, a concave soap, kind of like the True Fit and Hill and those sorts of things. The uh, brush we're going to use today is this Simog 2000. It's a bore brush, nice long bristles, a good amount of hair in it. I enjoy it. The razor is this Gem Micromatic. It's a single edge, as you can tell, it's obviously different. So we'll do a razor tour. There's not much to it because there's no disassembly. Let's go ahead and put the blade in. And uh, this is the lather games. And so not only am I varying up my kind of razors, I'm also going to vary my blades. This one is from tryablade.com. It's the gem and it's a carbon steel blade. Some people like carbon steel and they claim that you can get it sharper than stainless and that makes sense. But with the DE blades that I've tried, they haven't been sharper than their stainless counterparts, at least not in an effective, noticeable way. So to use this razor, you gently lay the blade in. Uh, the centerpiece needs to come through and the corners need to come down uh, to these little... Uh, corner pieces there. Okay, then you tighten it. The lid will close and then slide forward. And that's all there is to it. This is an aggressive razor. The Lather Games theme of today is stuff that won't get you laid. And so I picked sandalwood because my wife hates the sandalwood scent. I love it. And so it's actually cool if I use sandalwood soap because usually soaps don't last very long in terms of being on you. I picked this razor because it's the least sexy looking one that I have. Obviously that's a, you know, personal opinion, but uh, I think most of my, all my DEs look a little bit sexier than this. Uh, straight is pretty darn sexy, if I do say so. Uh, I will be using a straight later on in this month of the Lather Games. All right, so we've got that. Oh, and then the post-shave is going to be Old Spice aftershave, the original, because my wife does not like that at all. One of those things where it reminds her of uh, paternal types that uh, didn't treat her too well. So sometimes the Old Spice is a great hit in, in that it reminds them of their grandfathers or somebody up there in that chain. And if they love their grandfathers or that person, then that's good. But if they didn't, it can be bad. All right, let's throw a little water on my face. Cool water as usual. I've had the brush soaking for about an hour in uh, partly distilled and partly hard water. So that should be just fine. Should produce a nice lather. Uh, and I have the, uh, if you notice this, uh, this is a Taylor of Old Bond Street old container. Um, I got it from Maggard. You can buy the old uh, old used containers from Maggard because they hook out for samples and then they're left with these empty containers They don't want to throw them away. So they sell them to people. I bought a few All right I'm gonna pour almost all the uh, the water out the puck is moving around in there a little bit So we might have to load for a while just to kind of compensate for that um, Unfortunately, I just haven't had a chance to use this soap very much. It maybe has been a year and a half since I have. All right. Shaking most of the water out of my bore brush. You can still tell it's uh, pretty damp anyway. All right. 
I, oh, the zero just turned, so let's just, uh, I may just load for 45 seconds since this puck is moving around. If, uh, if I want to keep this puck in this container, um, then what I might do, since it's a hard soap, you can't really mash it down. Um, what you can do instead is uh, grate it like cheese. Press those shavings into the container of your choice. Almost 45, five more seconds. It is overflowing. All right. There we go. Pretty messy. And I will uh, rinse this container. All right, now I put a little bit of the bloom water in here. So unfortunately it's not gonna be uh, super predictable. My recipe is gonna be a little loose today. That's all right. Yeah, it's not, not going to be a strong scent on this one. This is, as usual, my Roger Quintero Lather Bowl. He's the main designer. I helped a little bit. Um, and uh, it's got ridges in there. It's got this interned lip right here. Keeps the lather from rolling out. The water that was in there been pretty quickly absorbed by the lather. And we'll just keep working the... Uh, the bubbles out. A lot of times if you start with a lot of water you end up with uh, bubbles pretty quickly. Some soaps it takes a long time to recover from that and so that means you need to start with less water. Sometimes a lot less. But most soaps do okay. There are some where it just takes several minutes for you to mix the, the bubbles out. I've been very happy with this soap. I have the Sport scent as well as the uh, classic and they're just nice I wouldn't have a problem if I was just using those three you know for a very long time they're good performers too got it on sale I think maybe like a Christmas type Thanksgiving sale in 2017 got really good deals on those pucks um, And so I've had them for a while and I just have been trying so many soaps I haven't had a chance to really enjoy them as often as I want. So we now we're looking nice and creamy and actually a little on the firm side. So we'll, uh, oh yeah, that's nice and slick. A little bit of viscosity. The slickness stays on my uh, finger pads even when I rub the uh, and push the soap away push the lather away the slickness stays on it's not like a watery slickness I'm gonna bet this is a tallow soap let's gradually add a little bit more water Good. Let's see what happens when we kind of wiggle it and let it drop. Oh yeah, nice long peaks there. Let's do just a little bit more. And I bet we'll stop and try that. So this is just the 15th use of this bore and my mini break-in technique has been to just soak it in water, cool water for an hour to three hours before each use. And using that technique in three or four uses it was enjoyable to use 
and just fine for bowl lathering. It didn't take very long to break in at all. All right. So let's look. If we pull up the wad, we can kind of see. Some attributes about it. I want to keep it creamy, and so I may have it a little too dry right now, but you know, that's all right. You can always add water during the shave. All right, uh, a little water on my face. And it's good that I, this was unintentional, but it worked out that I have this a nice, comfy, soft tipped brush that doesn't have a lot of backbone. Matter of fact, it splays so much I had to had to add two O-rings at the base of the knot. To rain, focus the bristles. And I really like it a lot more now. Very, very comfy. If you want to bore, it's just really comfy. This is your guy. All right. This guy can be aggressive. This gem Micromatic. Single edge can be aggressive. So let's be careful. Yeah, see, I could feel that grabbing. Wow, yeah. I do not. That is very rough. Very aggressive. You know what? I think that my lather is not being as slick as I need it to be. A little too dry. So, this is almost like a, a straight. The straight edge guys really need their lathers to be slick. I'm going to change my angle too, play around with it a little bit. But this was rough, that was very aggressive. And a normal 24 hour uh, hair growth is what I'm dealing with here. Nice lather. Looks like that 45 second load gave me way too much lather. All right, let's see if we can do better now. Just take my time. Watch my angle here too. Yeah, it's better. Man, that is rough. I may do one pass and call it quits. I do not dare to uh, to bring the handle in. That's even more aggressive. So obviously, um, I think I just used a normal gem blade before. This is the carbon. Um, maybe it's just not the right one for me. I definitely feel like I'm on the verge of opening up a huge cut. I'm going to take it slow. Be really 
I'm careful with my head angle. It's just crazy rough. Not interested in doing that again. A lot easier the second pass. And that's kind of the way it is with DEs, but holy cow, that first one. Wow. We'll see if I have stirred up any irritation will uh, this will be a good soap test um, because if it can help me after that then that's really good uh, high marks okay Whew, I need a cool water rinse and the thing is it wasn't even a good cut when I uh, went to rinse I still felt a lot of hairs there I mean about every other DE shave I've ever had was a better one than that and so it was rough without the advantage of being efficient. I had another half teaspoon of uh, water since I did have to spray so much. To me, it's a fairly authentic sandalwood scent. A lot of them put perfumes and weird stuff so that you, the name sandalwood is on it, but you can, you'd be hard pressed to find sandalwood in it, in the scent notes. Man, that lather is nice. Just creamy, feels great. All right, hopefully this will go better. I'm going to go ahead and do another with the grain pass instead of switching right away to uh, cross grain. Since it was just so... Now this is much nicer. Obviously dealing with a day of stubble is not this particular razor's forte. I mean, if you shade with, the, I mean, the other blade that I had was a lot nicer than this blade. So I could see using the other one every day. This one, however, I would definitely not want to use it on a regular basis um, at all, since it was so harsh on the first pass. Now it's just, it's very nice. I mean, it's still a little rough, but I don't feel like I'm, it, the roughness and the aggression is, is gone because most of the hair is gone. I do feel like I need to watch the angles and be careful. All right. Well, there we go. That went much faster and much less, uh, less harsh. All right, so third pass. I got a feeling I'm not going to be walking away with a nice, as nice of a shave as I do with a DE. And who knows, um, if you were to do some research on single edges, they might. It might be common knowledge that these gem blades are, uh, you know, are really rough and not not good to use. Maybe they work better for certain razors. You know, there's several different SEs out there. Um, maybe it's just my skin, but I mean, this is so nasty, I wouldn't be surprised to to find that you, you'd post a message on a forum somewhere and they'd kind of chuckle at you and go, man, you, you picked the wrong one. <laughs> but we're trying it out. Carbon. All right, cross grain this time.
You may notice on my neck, I, I can't really go with the grain. And so I basically do the same uh, pass on my neck for all three shaves, all three passes. Uh, the same strategy, the same layout and all that. I'm really surprised I don't have any weepers right now. Really surprised I do not have a good cut. But I don't really feel like irritating my skin anymore. All right, so we're just going to wash up. <laughs> wow. The ribs. So I've got the old spice aftershave in mind. But after such a rough shave, that alcohol-based fragrance type thing without very much skin goodies um, doesn't seem like a great idea. And so I'm going to put in some, uh, this is witch hazel. This is the aloe toner from uh, Thayer's. So while I pack up my stuff, this can kind of be nourishing my skin. Probably help me to deal a little bit better with the Old Spice at the end of the shave. This is the alcohol-free, um, unscented Thayer's. It's, um, it says Witch Hazel, but it's really kind of a Witch Hazel solution, and there's probably not nearly as much Witch Hazel in it as you might think. But what's not Witch Hazel is aloe and some other cool things like that, so I'm fine with it. Witch hazel kind of stinks anyway, and so I kind of don't. I think that's how they make it unscented, is by reducing the actual amount of witch hazel. But it's fairly inexpensive. It lasts a long time for me. So I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't have a, a very good shave at all. Um, there are a couple of spots where it did well. And so maybe I was stretching my skin properly. Um, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, there are parts, and so maybe if this was your only razor, you could make it work. But I also know that other blades did a lot better with this razor. And so I think that blade choice is very important with this guy. Um, so let's show you him. Uh, so kind of a neat look to him. Uh, this part turns down here. There's the head. This pin back here is what actually recedes, and this part is spring-loaded. So if I start to open it up, then he opens, and we can just lift out the horrible, nasty, aggressive razor. Put him away. And so here's the uh, inside. And you can see that, like this guy here will move in when I tighten him up. And then that guy right there moves, moves out. Pretty neat mechanism they have. So uh, that's all there is to it. Solid bottom. I'm pretty sure it's just all brass. So uh, built to last. And these things are a dime a dozen on eBay. I mean, you make sure you don't get one that's bent or something. You know, look, um, look at the teeth in the in the scans, and just make sure, especially the corner ones, because if you drop it, these are the ones that are likely to get a little tweaked. Um, but if they look straight, if everything else looks good, then um, you know why not try one out? Just don't use this blade. Actually, right now, my face feels my face feels pretty good. Um, I feel a little tenderness, a little rawness, just a little bit, a lot more, a lot less than I thought I would when I was going through the ordeal of the first pass. All right, let's clean some stuff up. Oh, hey, let me show you how much lather I have left. A good bit, so I'm really happy. The sandalwood scent's very, very minimal with this soap. Um, like maybe a two or a three.
but performance is excellent. I do love hard soaps, and so I will kind of give a hard soap a pass sometimes if the scent isn't strong enough, because they last forever. Hard soaps can last decades. So uh, I'm really happy with the lather. Really nice, and it took water like a champ. Um, and that looks like maybe I've got two more passes, three more maybe, of lather in the bowl here. So I just finished stropping this guy. He's got a lot of bristles, a lot of density compared to the other Samogs because he's got a larger diameter. Um, some of these have split, but not a lot. So I'm looking forward to that changing, getting even softer in the future. Um, and it, it does kind of lean over and stay leaned over like that. But down below, it actually has a, a good bit of backbone and that density helps with that as well. So I have no problem lathering up anything I want. I have a good face feel, it splays out, but it uh, it's it's held on there with, uh, with the density um, to contact, keep in contact with my face and not feel empty in the splay. Um, the handle is interesting. It's, it's short and stubby. Um, it's workable. Um, if this brush continues to be one of my favorites, I'm going to um, cut off this handle, put it in something more ergonomic. Because I think I'm really going to like this knot. So, wow. Um, how about that? So here's the old spice. Let's, uh, my wife just does not like it at all. So I take it on trips with me, that sort of thing. Yeah, there's some stinging. Woo, boy. The alcohol doing his job. A little watering of the eyes. That goes away pretty quickly. That's a good scent. That's nice. All right. I kind of like both the new version of the Old Spice as well as the uh, the original. I managed to get uh, some of the original. Um, they still sell it over in India. It's not exactly exactly the same, you know, as the as the vintage stuff, but it's so close that I'm fine with it. All right, very nice. Still a little bit of burn um, from the aftershave. Um, I just I just put it on. Um, I, it's not like that cutaway there had a lot of time between it. Just wanted to report that uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a burn, but I bet it, I bet it bounces back. I may throw some balm on or something like that if I feel irritated. So you saw how much lather was left over. So maybe a thirty second load next time. Uh, I used one and a half teaspoons of water, but how much water did I uh, put in the bowl? Let me see if I can kind of approximate that. Yeah, it was probably two teaspoons. So I think that lather took, you know, roughly four teaspoons. So there we go. Have to guess. So really happy with my little soap puck. If you can see, he's got a little bit of room there. So someday I may grate him up and press the shavings down into here. Um, I do like these old Taylor. I don't like the Taylor Bond Street creams too much, but I do like their containers. Showed you the razor. You know how harsh that was. Um, but uh, we're going to blame the blade solidly. Because I've had other razor blades that did much better in that razor, in that same razor. Uh, love the brush, love the soap, love the aftershave, lather games. Um, stuff that won't get you laid. Uh, yeah. You know what won't get me laid is laying down uh, after a rough shave because my face is so harshed up. <laughs> Not going to feel like doing anything, right? Um, but it's it's bouncing back. It'll probably be fine in a little while. A um, little minimal irritation remains. I also want to say that you should not buy the single-edge blades 
as you might for a, a paint scraper or something like that. Those blades are different. They have different edges. I don't use those in a single edge shaving razor. Just use them in scrapers. So these are different single edge blades. They look exactly the same, but they're ground differently and different sharpness, that sort of thing. So, uh, so don't use that wrong kind of blade in this razor. But uh, otherwise, I think we're ready to go. Everything's packed up. Um, wow, <laughs> don't do this shave if you're if you have skin like me. Now, there's got to be some tougher guys out there who might not have a problem with it. But I think your average guy is. So watch out. Uh, so this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Um, and I hope there was something here for you, if at least a warning, a safety warning, right? Um, with this video. And uh, you take care. Good night.